Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to Eight Weeks with Julia Kate. I am in bed. I thought what better place to start my journey from than where I'm actually going to start it from. But it's a miserable day. It's pouring with rain. It's windy. Um, so I'm not looking too forward to getting up. I've just seen my husband off to work, uh, which actually involves me just shouting I love you from um, my slumber. But he is kind enough to set me up with my first viewers for the day. Which are these freaky ass dolls that he makes stare at me for when I wake up. So there's that. Um, this is my first vlog. I thought this is the best way to actually do this rather than just do posts. But it is my first one, so bear with me. Um, I'm learning as I go, but if you have any tips, then please just message me and I'll try to inc incorporate them as I go. So, my journey. Um, I started with doing measurements. So I take measurements with a measuring tape and I do weigh myself on the scales. But these are just for my curiosity. I do like to see um, how my body fluctuates with things like sickness, um, if I have a cheat meal, not planning on doing that too much um if at all it'll happen we know it will um so it's really is my curiosity i don't pay too much attention to it because i know it fluctuates so much and you really need to do the same because it can be really demoralizing if you if you can't then you need to have the scales because if you look at um your weight go up a you know, it can go up a kilo overnight for seemingly no reason. Then you stop exercising because you're depressed by this. Then it's not helping anyone. Consistency is the key. You can't see your progress happening on the inside of your body, but it is happening. So if you just keep at it, it will be reflected on the outside. Okay. So have faith, keep going. So that is what I do. But my tip for day one, and this is a biggie, is measure your progress by photos not by weight so i do this by taking a photo usually in my underwear so i can see all my lovely curves and see how they change i do this from front side and back um, and i also choose my goal for at the end of the eight weeks for me um, i'm going off a body image one for this one um, so i will be trying to fit a size 11 jean that i have comfortably so I also take a photo of myself in that, um, but you know, yours might be to do 10 push-ups by the end. So just record whatever your goal is. So for my photos, I take it on day one, I take it at week four, at the end of week four, and I also take it at the end of week eight. So I have a little record of how I'm doing, um, but I'm also not paying too much attention to that and letting that get in the way of my consistency. So. By doing it every four weeks, basically, you aren't um, becoming obsessed. You're keeping focus on the task at hand, which is in the kitchen and in the gym. And if you can only do one of those, either in the kitchen or the gym, then go for it because it's better than nothing. Okay, so always something is better than nothing. So just keep at it. Okay, so my journey for today. I am going to start it gently so to speak. I, if you've been following me, I do have quite a um, few injuries and trouble with joint hypermobility. So I do have to be careful when I'm getting back into things. But because I'm not new to exercise, I will be ramping it up quickly. But day one, I will be um, starting slow. So that would just be a 40 minute walk on the treadmill. I will ramp up some tunes, but more than likely, I'll just download a Netflix episode and watch that while I do it. Um, so that will get over the hump of day one. Uh, also tonight I will, if jet lag doesn't um, catch up with me because I just got um, back from two weeks overseas and an 18 hour flight, basically a red eye flight for both of the legs on the weekend. So I'm still recovering um, and if I can make it, I will go to a street dance hip hop class tonight and that goes for an hour. It's also a four kilometer round walk to that. So also in this weather, let's see how I go. But that is my goal and food wise so i'll start with some oats i've been doing that for probably five years now half cup of rolled oats 
with one cup of hot water. I don't do milk because I um, try to save that for tea if I want some uh, and milk isn't great for weight loss. So I start with that. New to this is adding cinnamon, uh, one teaspoon, and I also add some, just some seeds, a teaspoon of seeds. So sunflower, chia seeds, anything that you want there. I will also add some fresh berries on top of that. I stick with blueberries. Um, you can have strawberries, raspberries, Try to stick with the berry variety just because they're so low in sugar compared to the other fruits. Mid morning snack, I will have some Greek yogurt with uh, green apple cut up and some another teaspoon of cinnamon added to that. Um, I will I would usually have a smaller portion of what I have for lunch, but I'm a day behind with all my planning, so I am going to do that today um, to give me some prep time. So for lunch, I'll have some fresh chicken cooked, some steamed veg, and half cup of quinoa. I'm using red quinoa at the moment. Afternoon snack, so each of these are about three hours apart, but somewhere between two to four hours, um, wherever you can fit it in your day. So I will have rice cakes. I'll have two of them. Uh, the brand I use is Corn Thins. I use the thin ones as well. Um, I'll have some avocado on that and some lean leg ham. I would normally have some spinach on that too, but I forgot that in the shop. So if you've got it, throw it on for some fiber. I will also have for dinner some steamed veg again and um, I'm going to just have a freshly squeezed lemon on that because I'm going to side it to a pork steak with all the fat cut off. Um, just throw some herbs on that as well. Dessert I don't do but if I need to then I will have five almonds and a herbal tea, green tea at the moment. I'm trying to work my way into having um, other green tea, uh, not green tea, other herbal tea but um, I've just stopped having milk with my green tea, so small steps, take the wins where you can. Um, so it's green tea for me. So that is my plan. If you um, can jump on social media throughout the day, I will appear in my story. I will keep you updated to how I actually progress. I'll take photos of my meal. I'll let you know how I go with exercise. So it's not just a one video at the start of the day. It's a it's actual journey throughout the day of which we can stay accountable, um, motivate you. You know, if if you're having it tough and you're finding that I'm having it tough too, then you know maybe we can push each other on. Um, I'm really excited about doing this journey together. Uh, I came up with this idea the end of last week and just jumped on planning it because I got really excited about helping people. And I knew that I was going to do an eight week stint when I got back. Um, and I wondered about starting a week later and then I didn't want to. And I thought, how will I make myself push myself through eight weeks? Um, because I have a big eight weeks coming up as well. Uh, I have a big few months. So I will write about that in this weekend blog as well. Um, but I needed to be held accountable and I wanted to do the same for you. So I'm really excited. Please continue this journey with me and please share below. I, there's no point me doing this. I'm for myself. I'm doing this to support you. So please comment below or private message me if you don't want to share this publicly. But I look forward to hearing from you. So we all say goodbye. And I um, wish, you, wish you well on your eight weeks with Julie Kate. Bye.